Today is Wednesday, it's the 6th of March 2024 and uh, Anita's gone to her knitting group so it's left me to my own devices and uh, today I've come down to Ilietes. Uh, as you can see behind me it's uh, Ministry of Defence uh, Mallorca CDSCM, I'm not sure what that stands CDSCM, I'm not sure what that stands for but it's a military zone, uh, this area is behind here but uh, it's also a really pretty part of Mallorca. Uh, there is a car park here, so I've managed to park up. Plenty of space today. And at the moment it's free. Uh, but in a few weeks' time, uh, you'll have to pay to park here. I did notice on the way down it said the road was closed. But obviously it's not. Um, which worried me for a moment. And uh, just look at the beautiful view here. Really pretty. And uh, it says this way to the beach, but uh, well, it's not that, quite that way. I'm going to have to go down a, a few steps uh, in order to get to the beach. It's a little bit uh, rickety, and uh, obviously some people have already been down there. The right. sun shines. It's a beautiful day, and uh, well, if I walk up a little bit further, there are lots of little bays and beaches here. Um, beautiful place for swimming, snorkeling, and it's a bit warmer. So I could go down here, scramble down there. But if I walk a little bit further up, there's a perhaps a little bit more accessible route. It's not easily accessible any of any of this. It's all steps and stairs and rocks and it's a bit bumpy. In season there could well be uh, bars and things here as well. But, uh, it's all nothing at the moment. a little platform here. That gives us an opportunity just to look down. So just along this coastline here there's just lots of little bays, little beaches and uh, well, there's quite a few people down there sunbathing. So this is the first one and then just go around the headland and there's another little beach. And uh, you can normally park on the road uh, though in the summertime it does get busy. And it's all on the bus route as well, so you get the, I think it's the number four bus out of Palma, and uh, it brings you here. So lots of steps. You can see down towards the beach, beautiful clear sea. And this is uh, a little lock up there. The sea is absolutely beautiful. And look at that nice little bay there. Just a few people on it. And the sea itself. Lovely. And some nice rocky islands here. So if you're a a seasoned swimmer, you might want to swim to the island, or if you've got a little kayak uh, or a boat, like the people out there. You can watch the, the ships sailing out of Palma. So we've got a Balearia ship there, uh, off on its way to the mainland. And in the distance on this side, you can actually see Palma. And on that, uh, you can see as far as Calamayor and Marivent, Marivent being the king's summer palace. But I'm going to walk this way, uh, going back towards that uh, military zone. You can see how rocky it is. So it's, it's down rocky steps, and I haven't got Anita with me, so no one actually saying, be careful. It's, uh, it's always in the back of my mind to be careful. <laughs> so that's where I was up there. You can see people do actually scramble down. I think normally that's what I would have done, was to have scrambled down there. But Everything here is a little bit precarious. 
So all of this land to the right here is this military zone and uh, it used to be like an officer's club. I'm not sure how it's used now. But uh, if you were in the military, the officers would come there and they would uh, have a bar there and they'd have this beach. Uh, well, you're saying what beach? Well, it's just around the corner. It's not got a particularly high fence and uh, there are lots of camera signs there saying you're being videoed. show you what it is. So just behind the gate this is the military zone and they just have this uh, place to themselves. And then the road actually, so the road comes in there, goes straight out here, there's another gate here and there's another car park and uh, the car park is up on this peninsula that sticks out. Lots of ups and downs, I did say. We've, uh, in the past, used to bring the scouts here. Uh, it was a great place for them to go swimming and snorkeling. And the beach I'm talking about, well, doesn't look too much at the moment because it's full of seaweed, but it's a lovely sandy beach. Very safe for swimming. And uh, it's a place that we used to come to, have come to, and uh, it's one you tend to forget about, um, but once all of this seaweed is uh, cleared away, it's a really nice beach, nice place to swim, and uh, the buildings at the other side of the bay there, that's called the Anchorage Club, and uh, is a very upmarket area with some very, very expensive apartments, and they've got this wonderful view out to the sea out to the island across there, there's an island there with Portals Nouse just over there, you can actually see the island off Portals Nouse beach there and uh, in the distance the Portals Nouse marina but the Anchorage Club is uh, typically frequented by the rich and famous we did actually go We've been there a few times actually, because we did know someone who lived there temporarily. And uh, we've also been to um, parties there um, when we were involved with the charity golf. I still need to make a, a video about the charity golf because that was quite, quite something. Since our last visit to this beach, I think, I can't remember there being a, a beach bar here. There is now. It's not open, but uh, come the season, I'm sure it will be. Away there. And uh, at the beach bar, it's actually got a sign for toilets on the side there. But they've got a little terrace here, they've got the sun umbrellas. And uh, I can imagine this is a beautiful place to sit and uh, enjoy the beach and enjoy the magnificent views. I think some of the very early videos that we made, some of the very first experimental ones that we made for Stephen and Nita in Mallorca, uh, we came down to this beach and uh, did some swimming and some snorkeling. I was videoing underwater as well then. I haven't done much of that recently. And there's another little island that uh, not so much of a swim to get to that one. I'm not sure you're supposed to go to it. I can see signs from here, but I can't read them. Um, they probably say this is a military zone, keep off. Because um, that's what all of this area has been over the years. So there is quite a a big sort of car, car parking area here, but it's inaccessible uh, unless you're a, a card-carrying member of the military and even that might now be impossible because the gate's always locked. I've not really seen it open for a long time. 
maybe it's a seasonal thing, maybe they open it up during the summer. Different view of the Anchorage Club. The Yetus itself um, has been very, very popular with people from Palmer. Um, to my mind though, it's one of those places that's been over-constructed and uh, it's not a, uh, a circular system of the road so you come in and you have to drive around the back and then come back on yourself so it's a complete one-way system once you get into Hivietas but it's very very full of apartments it was made famous I suppose by um, Errol Flynn who set up home there before our time, so I'm guessing in the 60s, I can't remember. I did do a video actually about Errol Flynn and his uh, time in Mallorca. I haven't done a little bit of research on him. Because um, I suppose as a, a schoolboy, I sort of fascinated by the swashbuckling image that he portrayed at those times. But he was something of an ambassador for Mallorca. Uh, and I think the people here liked him probably because he was spending lots of money in restaurants and bars. Uh, but an incredible character that uh, put Mallorca to some extent on the map and brought lots of other uh, famous people here. And uh, well, we still get the, the film stars coming. We're watching the uh, Nadal tennis last weekend uh, Nadal Alcaraz which was being played in Las Vegas it was an exhibition match so nothing too serious uh, but in the audience there was uh, Michael Douglas and Catherine Zetas-Jones and uh, when the in mid-match this was so just during one of the breaks between sets um, the uh, interviewer went across to Michael Douglas and uh, asked him who he was supporting and he says I'm rooting for Rafa, uh, we have a house in Mallorca, uh, Catherine and I, he said. And, uh, yeah, he has a house up in the Tramontana, one of the other beautiful parts of Mallorca. So, yeah, there is a sign there which says it's a military zone. I can just about make it out, so you could swim there, but you're not supposed to actually do anything up there. Not sure if there is any anything dangerous. And the water is very shallow here. You could probably walk across without getting too wet. It's also a place where uh, people come fishing and that was another reason for us to come here with the scouts. Uh, it was one of the things that we used to do with them, take them fishing. Not sure we ever caught very much. Surprisingly quite a few people around. is really mild today not so much breeze as there has been over the last few days so all of this is military parking area that pretty much isn't used it's sort of a terrible waste of space and I imagine that one day eventually the local government will be ceded the land and uh, they will therefore be able to use it for Whatever. And to be quite 
quite nice if they just put a few benches and a little bit of a sunshade here and uh, people could just sit. This would be a lovely promontory to sit and watch the world go by or watch the boats go by. Or just look at the sea, just enjoy the view. can go down there but it's uh, it's a bit uneven not for me today I'm afraid also a good place I can see there there's an aeroplane taking off from Palmer Airport uh, in the summer months you could sit and watch them taking off in fact there's one there that's just taken off and there's one there that's recently taken off so in the summer months in the next few weeks uh, we'll start to see those taking off every two minutes really or, or less 90 seconds the incredible how, how quickly airplanes start to take off and land during the summer months so a little bit of a haze today it's um just looking over to the far side that's rander over there that we can see and right in front that's Aranal, which is where we were uh, just the other day when we went along the Playa de Palma. We didn't go quite as far as uh, Aranal. And then out along Calablanca, along the south coast, all the way to Calapi. There's no big waves, but there does seem to be a little bit of a swell. So there is quite a bit of movement in the water, which would probably make it a little bit dangerous for swimming close to these rocks. You really don't want to get bashed up against these rocks. They're really sharp. <laughs> so one more is just taking off and another aeroplane taking off. So there isn't a lot of time between these aeroplanes. They're all uh, taking off very quickly. Just a beautiful view here. And, uh, go around this way. You'll see a little bit of more of Ilietas. You'll be able to see what I mean when I have to say it's very built up. I've got to put my hat on. It's very warm and very sunny. But uh, a beautiful day to be out here. Just looking in the distance at some black smoke going up into the sky. Not sure what that is. Very nice. And people here are looking in the bushes. And what they're doing is they're picking asparagus. And it, it just has that fresh asparagus. Uh, you just pick in the tips there and it is delicious. Uh, I can get through here. This is really sharp. I don't want to be brushing against that too much. I don't think I'm going to go down there, but it gives me a better view of the island across there and the Yetas and the little beaches and bays that are around there and uh, when you get to some of the beaches they've actually got um, restaurants and bars and all sorts of things going on there you might even get yourself a, a beach massage down there and in the distance uh, just to here look just about whoops, there is um, Nabagesa, that's where we live and then even in the distance further, we can see the mountains stretching up to Pujmayor. 
where there was snow just the other day and uh, well it's a lot warmer I think all that snow will have melted now I think I'm going to find somewhere where I can go and sit and just admire the view. But, uh, I've got to get through this lot first. Look at this, this is really spiky. Get away from that. <laughs> so again, another walk through the car park. to uh, pick the asparagus with the scouts um, on the way to a, a valley where in the winter time you could light fires and uh, we'd pick it on the way and cook it when we got there. Always had that special flavour. little inlet. I'm not going to call it a beach, it's just a little inlet but it uh, gives you a, a view as to how clear the water is down there. You do get lots of sea urchins so <laughs> if you are swimming around just be careful where you're putting your feet. A face mask is pretty useful. Just so you can see where you're Stepping. Well, you might think this is a, a change for the better in the weather, but uh, it's uh, predicted that there's going to be a little bit of a change over the weekend as it comes, and uh, there's a storm coming in from uh, from the Atlantic, going over the mainland, and uh, it's still unsure about whether it will actually progress as far as Mallorca, but at the moment they're saying Saturday it could well have a little bit of rain. So we had black smoke over Palma and I can see white smoke in the Calablanca area. At the moment I think uh, people are, farmers are allowed to burn their rubbish but uh, it'll soon come to a time of the year when you're not allowed to do that. Um, during the summer months it's just too dangerous to uh, burn rubbish here and so uh, it's banned um, fires outside unless you've got it in a contained barbecue and even then there are some places where they simply don't like you to do barbecues either. A nice fence I can lean on here. There are a few hotels in Ietis, it's not a big area and as you can see there's lots of apartments but there are some hotels and some quite nice hotels as well. Um, being close to Palma, it's been a, a place in the past where 
quite a few holiday makers have come, but it's not, it's not quite, it's not a, a Palmanova, it's not a Magaluf sort of place, it's a much quieter place, and uh, there are some bars and restaurants in uh, Ietas, uh, but you won't find the loud clubbing and the loud music and that sort of thing here. You'll just find, hopefully, peace and tranquility. Nice sort of place, really. It's just been spoilt by the overbuilding. As you go behind there, uh, they've continued to build over the top of the hill and uh, quite a busy little area now. And uh, it's, uh, there's, a, there's a clinic there and a, a quite a big school. And the school's got a, a big swimming pool to it, uh, which is at times open to the public, I think. And a theatre which uh, can be rented out, and uh, Anita's school used to rent it out to put on their shows. It was not really an ideal theatre for shows, but it was more of a lecture sort of theatre. It didn't have the depth uh, of the stage that is required. I've just seen a bumblebee down there, isn't that lovely? In fact, there's a whole load of bumblebees down here, so probably too small for you to see them on the video. So leave them to their work. Bees are something that we do need to protect. Uh, insects in general, very important part of uh, the ecology. Don't like wasps though. <laughs> Just heading back now towards this uh, little beach. And I think maybe when the season comes around, we might have to give this one a little bit of a try again, come for a swim. But this is one of the ones where we used to come during lockdown. This is very close to us, home, and uh, there was a convenient car park fairly close to the beach. Just there is somebody inside the uh, military base. Maybe it is being used a bit more than it used to be used. Maybe just getting it ready now for the Easter holidays. And yeah, at the top there, there's a green area which has um, got chairs. I think that might be a little dining area. You can sit out and enjoy a drink or enjoy the bar yeah they've got all the chairs there they've got, I think they're getting ready for Easter military parties so I don't know what's happened with this boat it's, uh, I wouldn't normally expect it to be it's got a bit of a hole in it and it's not going to go very far unless it's repaired bit of water in there, a few rocks as well. But it's high enough out of the water but not to get washed back in. Huh?
see that uh, this hard standing where we are now over the years has got broken up and uh, damaged and some parts of it have started to fall into the sea. Just wonder whether they're going to repair any of that to protect it. I'm going to make my uh, way back to pick Anita up now um, but I've just come back to this uh, little beach here and uh, there's m uh, quite a few more people on the beach and there's even someone having to swim in the sea well perhaps the season started and nobody told me about it thanks very much for watching and if you haven't already subscribed hit that subscribe button and the bell and you'll get notifications of future videos that we make Thanks again for watching and we look forward to seeing you in the next one. Bye for now.